this is going to be the first time I've ever sat in an X9 cab. Much does it all for you, you just sit back, relax and I can even probably have a massage. I'm in front of the Hillmaster, the T6. The T6. It's renowned for its straw quality. Let's go in and talk to the experts about the new features in this cab. Also, this is going to be the first time I've ever sat in an X9 cab. Oh, turn automation. Yeah. I am in the cab of the T6 and I'm here with Michael. So, Michael, what are the new features on these T series? Yeah, it's a brand new cab, brand as you new can cab. see here. X9 cab. The X9 cab mm -hmm. with all the features, the leather seat, the message phones. The oh, yes. Of the seat. I like setting too. <laughs> then we have the electric door closing, we have the G5 displays here, mm -hmm. we have um, out, or, uh, we have turn automation here. Ah, uh, so we, we at home yep. we use, uh, we, I was explaining the other day that we press the button and it drives us in a straight line, mm -hmm. but on uh, these ones it turns the actual headland for you as well, so you don't even need to drive. Yeah, that's correct. Something we don't use at home, uh, but I think we have the functionality for, but we just turn it ourselves. Okay? Then we have ground speed automation. Ground speed automation. Uh, says, How does it work, the ground speed automation? Um, we uh, look for the for the engine load, we look for the losses, we look for um, yeah, the, the, the mapping that the machine knows um, if there comes a full life or only a little bit. And also what we what we look for is for the terrain map. Um, right. that's the machine. We have here brand new on the T5 and T6 is here the terrain settings yeah. I see it here. If we drive on a slope, then uh, the machine adjusts by himself the, the wind and also the upper and the lower seat. Everything will adjust. Everything so, will adjust. So I am now in the, I'm in the driving seat and I have ground speed automation on. It was really funny because I went to adjust it myself with the speed and it switched it off. But it's all set up on uh, the command um, joy joystick. If you press it, it pretty much does it all for you. You just sit back, relax, and I could even probably have a massage. <laughs> so um, again, the same settings as we've got in our combine at home, which I was showing you. It's adjusting uh, the wind here. We've got a five on our bottom and a 17 on the top. Interesting about this combine is they've got the crop lifters on as well. Uh, something we don't really use in the UK as much. We have them available, but we don't use them. The ground speed automation is pretty cool. I've never seen it in action before, but seeing it actually, once you've had a go in it for a few days, then I reckon you get used to it and you'll be happy to allow it to do its thing. Uh, we've got the new display here on the um, new models. Again, with the new designs uh, on the back, you can see the black bit underneath the panels. We've got the G5 display, which has got about 33% more touchscreen uh, and usability, so it's better for us to attract. We're sat in the X9 cab, which is amazing. I've always wanted to sit in an X9 cab um, and see what it feels like. And we've got a panoramic view. You can see everything. I mean, I'm a little bit small. I can't see the... Um, and, just lifting up. I can't see the crop only because I'm a little bit small but the seat is comfy, it's all leather, leather steering wheel. Brilliant. Maybe a little bit smoother. Let's get the right. Right. 
so I'm driving it by hand at the minute and then if I press B ground speed automation active we've got our fuel our ad blue our engine power we're currently at 60 percent the chaser bin is over there so what's it yielding uh, seven seven point uh, six around you see it in the right no on the right end ah yes and obviously um Automation active. Do you use the crop lifters quite a lot in this country? Um, under these conditions, yes, and especially for auger platforms, uh, it is it is really good. Uh, for the drapers, we have a better ground following, and uh, yeah, for this uh, we didn't need it. Yeah. That means only for the for the auger platforms. Yeah. Terrain settings automation here, especially also the Hillmaster system. What is uh, really good for, especially this hilly conditions here. Yeah. Um, turn automation is now activated. I hope. Um, oh, it it's is going to turn itself. Yeah. You only have to lift the header at the moment. That means in the end you press the button one. Yeah. And then the machine do the rest for you. Okay. Let's see if it works. So those of you are watching. Um, I'm not going to do anything, I'm literally going to lift the header up and the whole combine is going to turn for me and drive back in uh, the same position and then we will be quite full so probably need to unload by that point. <clears throat> okay, now only lift so the header, up. go a little bit slower on the headland uh, okay. while we have a uh, short headland yes. and uh, for this so you can yeah. see it's actually turning yeah. you see it in the display um, now the machine makes the turn oh wow never seen that done before we always drive it ourselves on the headland I, um, yeah now the trailer is coming you can if you want go to the ma machine sync menu did you see it um, uh, in blue? Yeah. Yes, put this. And now you see um, that the trailer is uh, behind us. Oh. Here you see it. Yes. The trailer is behind us. It's now in the following. Here you can see in yeah. blue, the machine is following. Now you can adjust the spout with the, with the reel on the end of the... Yep, yeah. yeah. here you can adjust oh. the reel. And uh, now you can uh, go to unload if you want. Oh. So the tractor driver is not doing anything. Not doing anything. And um, on the and you can adjust now the, the position of the trailer with the display, as you can see. Left, ah, so right, forward and backwards. Ah, so like... Now we did one meter in the front and if you go to the back then it goes one meter to the oh. back. Will it spell? Go one one, one more? Yep, yep. It won't go over. Yeah. You also can control it from the hydro handler. On the back of the hydro handler, we have the, the buttons yeah. um, with that function, and uh, with that, we can also adjust the position of the trailer. And then it goes to the parking position. Wow. That uh, if there is some grain um, falling out of the hopper, oh. then it is um, yeah, saved into the into the, uh, the spout. Into the spout, yes. We've even got shelves now. Yeah. 
Ja. What I, what I think is also really cool is the seat. If you turn to the left and to the right, if you want, you can do oh. it. Here you can see it, and when you go to the to the left one, yes. the, the hydro handler goes to the goes a little bit to the, the right side. That you have in, at the moment yeah, don't have this. Yeah, that you have enough space to to go in and go out, yeah. and also that you have a nice overview to the when you when you unload the the green tank. Yeah, and uh, we have Apple CarPlay up here. Yeah. Yep. If so. you if you um, connect your phone with the cable, then you have Apple CarPlay. Oh. Okay. So it's all ready. Radio. Radio also DAB radio. So it's it's all about the operator comfort. Yeah. You've got Apple CarPlay. It's all touch screen. It's all easy to use. It's right in front of you instead of having the radio here where it used to be. I have also just noticed, is that adjustable mirrors? Yep, so electric. So adjustable electric mirrors as well. Oh, I don't need to touch it apart from go up because it's going to do it for us. A little bit slower, if it's oh, possible. Yeah. Why the headland is so small, um, then we have a little bit more space to turn. Yes. But as you can see, now we go to the next track. We can also adjust um, the point where the system starts. Um, yeah. Wow. And then all you have to do is put it down. Yep. Auto track is activated, and uh, with that you also can drive inside. No stress for the driver. Now lift it. Uh, Lower lo it down. Yeah. Oh. That's okay. And then just let it go. It's yep. going like that. So these are what I'm talking about, the crop lifters, so they go under the crop to lift them up so they can bring them in um, to the feeder. So this is a similar header to what I'm running at the moment uh, with the old S. So we haven't got the flex draper, we have got the auger straight through the middle. But look at that cab. Just from the outside you can see how nice it is. I loved the um, machine sink, how cool was that? New branding and everything, grain lids, and the spout. You can adjust it. Cool, that'll be good for spillages. Hey Ben, you won't be spilling anymore anymore. 